Hey you guys, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, here we are. It's Tuesday night and uh, what are we looking at? So, you know, during the weekends, we're always at the farm and always showing you things about what's going on there. Thought we would do something a little bit different today. And the question today is, is this cuckoo clock salvageable? That is the question. Also, I'm no clock expert. I would love to know the type of cuckoo clock that this is. Um, if you guys have any ideas, it was actually my mother-in-law's clock. And as uh, a lot of cuckoo clocks happen, it suffered a bad fall, it hit the ground, and when it hit the ground, of course, it busted into a lot of pieces. We'll show you some of the damage here. So this is a piece of trim that goes on the front of the clock, like so. You can see this piece right here was broken and came out. So that's not the end of the world. I think I can glue that back in. No worries there. This is the back of the cuckoo clock. I guess they call that the, the gong, I believe. It's got the two weights, the chains. Here's the pendulum that went on the clock. You can see this actually comes off and I think this slides up or down to change the timing to make it faster or slower. So that's okay. We got some issues here. The dial is loose. You can see all of the numbers are loose. So that needs to be corrected. I can also tell by looking at this trim piece, there's a real fine crack. So this thing has been dropped before and uh, that was broken off and re-glued. I also see a tremendous amount of glue around the outside of this clock, which tells me that trim pieces came off before and somebody has really put a lot of glue on it to get it down in the past. The door seems to be broken. There's, there's two hinges on the door. Only the top one seems to be functioning, so that needs a little love and affection. On the top of the clock, I'm not sure what this little swinging latches for. You can see there used to be a nail here for something, but I don't know what that was. I'll have to do a little research and try to figure that out. On this side over here, uh, there was also something. Let's see. I see two little nail holes. So once again, not sure what went on that side, unless I think that's the trim piece that actually glues to the front. I don't know. But you can see this thing is actually uh, damaged and cracked. You can see right there where somebody has repaired that once before. We have a broken piece here that goes on, I guess, like that. So that's gonna require a little work also to make that function. So I don't know, this is what we're dealing with, trying to figure out if this clock is salvageable. That is the million dollar question, and I do not know. So here's what the inside of the clock looks like. You can see it's got a lot of scratches on the back. Uh, I think this is a bellow. That one seems like it has a little air in it. The one on the right does not seem to be working at all. And it actually seems to be cracked right back here on that corner. Don't know if that's important or not. So this is what we have. Uh, there's no writings on it. There is nothing that tells me the age, what I'm dealing with. Uh, if you guys have any idea what era this clock is from, I mean, is it a 1920s clock, 30s, 60s? Is it a reproduction? What is it? I don't know. What do they call that? Is that a classic hunter? I, I have no idea. So, all right, guys, I guess that's my questions for you is, number one, is it worth repairing? Number two, do you think I can get it running? Number three, in its current shape, what do you think it's worth? Uh, what do you think it would be worth if it was completely restored? Would love to know your thoughts. Uh, I do kind of enjoy tinkering. I just remember growing up and uh, I think my grandmother had one, my mom had one in our house when I was a young kid. And then of course my in-laws house, uh, I do remember the sound they made and I uh, always thought that was really cool. Would love to get it going. Uh, you know, I guess the older I get, I just have more appreciation for this kind of stuff. But once again, outside of watching a couple of videos by Just Mike, and if you guys don't have his channel, go subscribe. I'll put a link in the uh, video. 
how to get to his channel. But go out and check out Just Mike. He seems to be an expert on cuckoo clocks and uh, a friend of mine that I've met through some live streams on another channel. So I'm gonna be uh, picking his brain some here to uh, help out and try to figure this thing out. So anyway, more to follow. Hope you guys enjoy this and uh, Heritage Farms Cuckoo Clock. Thanks guys, glory be to God. Hey, if you're not a member of our channel, hit the thumbs up. This content isn't our normal content, but once again, you'll see uh, a lot of different topics and things down here. I do appreciate a good project and uh, love memorabilia and uh, things that have a lot of character and heritage to them, hence the name Heritage Farms. So hey, hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment. Love to hear from you and I'll swing by and check out your channel. Thanks guys, glory be to God.